G'day guys and girls, got ourselves a Nissan Patrol here. This one we've just turbocharged. Darren's done all the fab work on this one. And as you can see, no intercooler. This one's running a dedicated water meth system. So we're running a single nozzle to the front of the compressor. And then we're also running six additional nozzles in the actual runners themselves. So uh, we've got 600 cc's going through the, uh, the runners and we've got another 200 cc's going through the turbocharger. So uh, pretty much as the liquid comes in here, it's a 50-50 mix. Um, this is basically our intercooler. As it comes in, mixes in and takes care of the intake temps. Um, and then our direct port ones so pretty much our octane. So yeah, it works a treat. Um, makes really no difference whether you've got a cooler or not. Um, if you don't want to hack the front of your car up or whatever, that's, that's a good reason for not running it. But um, but yeah, the water mess system works really well on these sort of things. So another good thing here, as you can see, all the heat shielding that's all been put into it. Uh, Bit of extra time and effort involved in doing it, but just just makes them for a much neater job. As you can see, it's all formed around the dump pipe and goes all the way down. So, GFB wastegate in there, six boost manifold, and this is a hyper gear turbocharger and Patrol Doctor snorkel. Haltech Elite 2500 ECU running the show, and then we're just using the GFB fuel rig to keep the uh, fuel pressure in check and some um, 500cc Boshi injectors on the factory on the standard rail so a lot of people change the rail on these things and to be honest with you no point really doing it you can uh, get the injectors in there without changing anything and keeps everything OE which is nice so and then obviously with the air temp sensor mounted in the manifold we normally would mount them into the intake pipe there but as we've got the liquid coming in we didn't want to sort of trick the air temps into making it think it's colder than it really is so we um opted to stick it right there so that's not ideal position but it's um in this case it's it's where we need it to be uh, another good thing it's in the back here you know up the back a nice 20 plus liter water tank in the back here which is where we're putting all the water meth that's all all man in there as you can see it's all nicely mounted Got a bit of a side glass on this one, so um, still trying to get this formula right, but it looks like we're gonna using a thicker tube, and in this case, it's uh, working pretty good on this car. So power-wise, not intercooled. We'll get to the dyno. So here we are. So not intercooled, no water meth. It's 174 kilowatts. Now this is a very conservative tune. Um, and then with the water meth activated, 216 kilowatts, 547 newton meters. So, you know, a really good increase, a super good increase in torque, which is what we're looking for. Like mid peak torque through the middle, you know, sort of 3,000, 3,500 revs is huge. Um, really starts to come on around that sort of 3,000 revs to torque. Um, but yeah, could we make more power? Absolutely. I, I could make 250 kilowatts out of this. Easy. It wouldn't be hard at all. It's only sitting on 10 pounder boost. Um, but we are we built we built this as a tourer, not as a race car, and not something that we're going to go out and just blow up the next day. So, um, got to keep some safety in there and a good margin. So, yeah, giving the customer exactly what he wanted. We promised him around that 200 kilowatt mark, just a touch over it. Um, this would be reliable as anything, go all day. And um, yeah, Joe, all he's got to do is keep that 20 liters of 50 50 meth in there, which is pretty straightforward as you. And they just need to mix it up. We normally just mix it up 10 litres of water, 10 litres of methanol. It's not the exact scientific equation of doing it. Most people would do it by weight. Um, in our case, we do it by volume because it's the easiest thing for our customers to do. So we don't need to be a, a, a laboratory sort of engineer or anything like that to make this stuff work. You just need to get 10 litres of water and meth and mix it together and shake it up and stick it in the tank and, and that's it. So, but yeah, we'll um, got some... Got a dyno clip of it and a couple of little build photos that we'll stick on at the end of this video. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.